Okay, um, let's wind down the markets then this Tuesday afternoon. Uh, starting sharp at the brink of uh, 11,300. So no doubt it's been a choppy day of trade, down a half a percent by the time we wind down. You've got the Sensex off by 105 points and the broader markets are no better. In fact, the mid caps is where you're seeing the biggest gash by the time we wrap up with a 1.6% cut. Barring IT, everything is in the red. Metals, media, real estate, PSU banks, as well as the infrastructure basket, that breath definitely in favor of the declines. Take a look at the list of losers, a long and extensive one at that. Infratel at the top of the heap at 212 goes home with an 8% gash. You've got Z Entertainment down and out. Tata Motors, Tata Steel, as well as Hindalco, Airtel, Grasim, something like ONGC, as well as SBI and Sun Pharma are some of your other key drags. In the green, a handful of about 10 to 12 stocks. BPCL leads the way and then IT has been a bright spot. So HCL Tech, Infosys, Wipro, Tech Mahindra and TCS. Reliance Industries, mind you, at 2103 is also a gainer in trade. To some of those news makers, and you have the entire banking sector uh, all in focus. As remember, the RBI has identified 26 sectors for a debt recast as recommended by the KV Karmath panel and lenders will need to consider issues like liquidity, debt servicing when preparing the restructuring ratios. Meantime, you've also got something like a Bharat Dynamics, the government selling a 15% stake via the OFS route at a price of 330 per share. Uh, something like InfoEdge, we spoke with the management today and he said that many investors are interested in picking up stake in Zomato. You have the earnings as well coming in and brokerages are bullish. CESC, 198 crore rupee pat versus 232 crores. Parag Milk, another result reaction and a quick check-in on Madhusan Sumi as the management saying that demand is a great indicator for change and they are seeing it returning within the auto space. Checking in on the broader markets and the cuts are definitely evident across the board. Uh, apart from Bharat Dynamics and Parag, there's Vodafone Idea which goes home with an 8% knock. Infratel, Tata Motors, DVR, Indian Hotels, Brigade Enterprises, PVR, Shat Shop, 6% lower. Jamna Auto, Jindal Steel are some of the other casualties. While Dixon flexes its muscles, uh, something like Repco Home bucks the trend, Weber Global in the green, ICICI Pru Ashoka Buildcon, as well as LNT Info and PNB Housing. Gaurav, what's your assessment as to where we're headed? Uh, just a uh, indication that uh, the you know the U.S. futures are indicating that it is going to be a fairly wobbly start. Looking at the market scenario and uh, the levels that we discussed, 11,330, now that we are going to uh, give a comfortable close below these levels, uh, the next level to watch out for would be uh, 11,200 to 11,220 on a very immediate side. If that is also taken out, we can head towards the level of 11,000. So in my opinion, uh, trend, the sentiment is weak. It's trading below the uh, major moving averages uh, in the short time frame. It's also uh, close below the daily kitchen level on the Ichimoku setup. So uh, for now, the thing, things are looking uh, pretty weak and we can open on a gap down as well. So one has to be a little bit cautious. And as I said, broader market or the mid-cap index, that is actually giving uh, more uh, pressure signs than compared to Nifty or Bank Nifty for that matter. So for Nifty, uh, it's going to be 11,200. For Bank Nifty, it is going to be 20,000 that we can see in next trading session.